Oh my gosh, these turned out so freaking great. They're so flippin' cute. Check out my Pokemon Snaps. Good morning, Mario, and good morning, Switch fans. We are on a field trip today because new Pokemon Snaps out, so what better day than to take our talents out to the great beyond. Well, we're still inside, but we're doing something super fun, which is living the dream, okay? Anytime you think Pokemon Snap, you think of snaps. And what better thing to do with your snaps than print them off? So in today's episode, we're gonna talk all about how to make this happen, how to make these pretty Polaroids pop out of this Nintendo Switch. I remember back in the day with the N64 version of Pokemon Snap, I went to Blockbuster and I printed off my favorite pictures. And now you can make it happen on Nintendo Switch, which is pretty freaking awesome. So what's going on everybody? It's Agron Switch Force. Make sure to smash that like button. Let me know in the comments down below what Pokemon you would want to print off if you had access to this incredible technology and let's roll through it. So what we got going on is a Nintendo Switch. Obviously you need new Pokemon Snap, which is out today. And I think it's freaking fun. Now there's still debate whether this game is worth $60. You can check out my other content to get into the nitty gritty, but I'll tell you this. New Pokemon Snap is one of the most joyous, truly fun experiences I've had in a long time on any platform. And I think it is a gorgeous game. It's beautiful. So beautiful that I want to have the photos to, uh, you know, I don't know, keep in my Trapper Keeper or pin up on some fairy lights, you know, whatever you do with little Polaroid style mini prints of your favorite Pokemon. But how do we do this? Because as far as I know, uh, the Switch memory card slot is a little too small for something of this sort to come out of. So enter the Instax Mini Link. Now, this is not brand new, although they did release a Pikachu holder for it today. The Instax Mini Link has been out for a while, but what's new today is the Nintendo Switch app. There's now an app that allows this thing, this little white brick of magic, to connect to your Nintendo Switch and allow you to print off some pretty sweet photos. So how the heck does that work? I'm gonna show you how. Now, what exactly are you gonna need to make this magic happen? Well, you obviously need the Instax Mini Link, which runs $99. Now that's a lot of cold hard cash. So we're gonna have to talk about the uh, value of this towards the end of the video, but you'll need one of these printers. You'll need a Nintendo Switch with new Pokemon Snap, and you're gonna need some film. Now I got these Fujifilm packs off Amazon. Um, they come in little rolls of 10, and it's pretty neat because this Instax Mini Link printer, uh, it just, the film goes right inside. It's a contained device. It's all in here. It's quite wonderful. It's freaking great. I think I accidentally just printed a photo. Oopsie daisies, no, 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 no. Well, when I'm not wasting precious film, this thing is pretty freaking sweet because you just charge it up via a little USB port uh, and then it Bluetooths into your Switch. Well, it Bluetooths into your Switch via your phone. So if we wanted to look through our photos uh, and find one to pick, let's go with this Flareon print. Now there is a special way that you're going to get these photos ready to go on Nintendo Switch. Within Pokemon Snap, you're going to have to save the specific photos you want to print to your personal album. Now that doesn't mean the photos you submit to Professor Mirror, that means you're gonna have to go to the lab and with Rita, save the photos to your own album. From there, you can edit them, you can add different frames and filters, and then you're gonna save them to your system. So it's like a three-step process. You take the photo, you save it to your album, and then from your album, you're able to save it to your system. We need the photos to be within our Nintendo Switch photo album, like the system level folder that holds all the pictures. I can't believe I burned this this film. We'll just call this uh, Missing No, all right? It's the rarest Pokemon, come on. Great photo. Now the process is pretty simple. I'm gonna open up the new Instax Mini Link app for Nintendo Switch. It's available on iOS and Android. You can download it for your phone. And I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna click Switch Direct Print. Now, once I get that screen up, it's going to ask me to scan a QR code. So from the Switch, I'll hit Sharing and Editing. I'll hit Send to Smartphone only this one, and then I'm going to scan it in. Get the QR code, join the Switch's Wi-Fi network, 
and voila, not quite, almost we're there. Just a couple seconds, don't you dare be impatient. This is actually pretty darn quick. I think getting the photo, you know, there are some steps, but as long as you understand them, you can make it happen really fast. And then you'll see we have the photo on our phone. This is the Flareon photo that I just showed you a second ago. Here it is on Switch. Here it is on phone. And now we're going to make it happen in real life. So you can go in here and you can edit quite a bit. You know, you'll get different zooms. You can get rotations, um, color correction, different filters, up the saturation, up the brightness, change up the contrast, uh, you know, make it black and white. You can do all of that within the game and you can also do that from the app directly. Now the app is trying to be a switch all game photo printer. So they've got different photo frames and filters for Mario Brothers, for Animal Crossing New Horizons, and for Pokemon Snap. And you can mix and match if you see that to be a fun fitting thing. You get your photo all nice and ready. Um, you can print, of course, from your photo album on your phone, but the print from Switch feature is the really nice one. And that's what makes this feel like a super organic, awesome Pokemon Snap specific experience. Like I took the photo in the game, game looks lovely and the Pokemon behave as cutely and ridiculously and as lifelike as real life. So why not have a lifelike way to take the photo and then uh, make it happen? So once you're ready, you got your Flareon on screen, you got your Flareon on phone, you're gonna press the big red button and the Instax mini link says, all right, Professor Mirror, all right, Zach, let's make this happen. It takes a couple of seconds and there's actually a really uh, fun animation where the photo zooms off the phone and it comes into real life. Ready to go, right out the printer, and we have a brand new snap straight from Pokemon Snap. And this thing is gonna develop, uh, and it's gonna be our brilliant, beautiful Flareon. I'll let you guys take a peek at that real quick as it comes into focus. There it is, looking so lovely. Takes a couple of minutes to get the full saturation in there really get the colors. Um, the photos do start out pretty light. I was a little worried, like, did I do something wrong? Is my, uh, is my photo printer not inked up? It's not really ink, it's exposure, Zachary. Learn about photos. Um, but once you give it a little bit of time, they do turn out quite nice. Let's take a look at some of my other photos. Cool one, a Bulbasaur, and this one I put on um, a frame. Uh, this is a frame from within the game, so it's a little cut off because the game doesn't necessarily expect you you know, to print off everything that you take, but still a fun shot. We've got this one, which is one of my best photos, I think. Uh, this one right here of this Chin Chow, looking so glittery and nice. I put a um, Insects Mini Link uh, frame on this one. So you see how that fits better because that comes from within the app rather than from within the game. And that wasn't a Nintendo specific framing. Um, that was an Instax frame, just those like colors on the sides, but I thought it looked really good. And it kind of fit nice with this uh, glowy chin chow with the little fluff fruit down there. Um, this one has a fun in-game frame, but it got cut off again. So. You do have a lot of filters and stickers and frames from within the game. Um, I just recommend placing them closer to the center because it is going to cut off some of the edges of the photo just by the nature uh, of the dimensions of the Polaroid. And um, you'll also notice in the bottom corner, it says new Pokemon Snap. It's like right down here. It's very, very small. And uh, I like to zoom them in a little bit so you can't see that. But on this one, I left it just so you could see. I'm assuming it'll say the name of every game. So if you were printing out like an Animal Crossing photo, it would say Animal Crossing, but I put the little mouth sticker on there. I thought that was fun. Oh, this is a nice photo. This is my boy Machamp. I did put some stickers on this one and a little flare there for his workout. Workout for us Machamp. Get that swole on, looking good on the beach. Beach levels and the water levels, so darn pretty. And then I have this one right here. Uh, which is a composition shot. Now I had to rotate this one in order to fit it, but the frame actually fit pretty well on the Polaroid. So it's got this Pokemon Snap logo and it's just a really nice dynamic shot. Um, and it kind of like, this was just like the perfect storm where it did fit within the frame. It fit within the, the, you know, the actual Polaroid frame. It fit within the frame that I put on in the game and the Pokemon in the center still looked nice and nifty. Uh, it all just kind of came together. Oh, look. Our Flareon is so ready now, and you can see, look how, oh my gosh, that's the best photo. That's the best freaking photo. This is so cool. It's like, it's like it's real. It's like if you went, you know, like the Kilimanjaro Safari ride at Disney World, or I don't know, just go in your backyard, look for a freaking praying mantis, and you take it, like, it's so 
good. And I do recommend darker photos. I think the darker that you're able uh, to, to photo, so the levels in the game that do have more contrast and do have more um, black levels, I guess, you're gonna get better results. Because if we look and, you know, we see this photo in comparison, this is a brighter shot and it just, it looks a little more washed out. It's still okay. You know, Polaroid's just, they're gonna have that effect sometimes. But this one looks so freaking vibrant and nice. And man, like that, I can't believe that just popped out of my Switch. Like, Switch to Mini Link to here so freaking fast. And it's like I literally met this Flareon. So that's how to print out your photos from New Pokemon Snap. And it's really fun. It's really cool. Like, these look lovely, especially that deep, saturated Flareon. I like that so much. And I think it helped, like I said, the darker colors. Um, I did auto-correct within the Instax Nintendo Switch app. I did up the saturation a bit and you wait, you know, four or five minutes and it just, it looks so lovely. It looks so good. The issue here is the price, because if this was cheap, I think everybody would want to do it. It's just an enhancement and another level of immersion for new Pokemon Snap and Pokemon fans on Nintendo Switch. But the question becomes, is this worth the cost of admission? In totality, you know, you're, you got your Switch, you buy new Pokemon Snap, it's already 60 bucks. This is 100. Film, no film comes with the Insects Mini Link, so you're gonna spend about 20 bucks on uh, two packs of 10 film. Maybe you can get it a little cheaper, like $15 or something like that, or you can get a, a jumbo pack if you wanna save some money. But you're looking at over $100 to print out these Pokemon photos. And I am impressed with the quality, especially the Flareon, and it's a really fun process, but I can only recommend this for the most hardcore new Pokemon Snap fans. It's effectively two more Switch games. So we're talking, hey, you could get Skyward Sword HD and Mario Golf. You could save for Breath of the Wild 2 and Pokemon Legends. And it's it's hard for me to justify printing out all these photos while very fun and very cute and quick, easy. So great that Nintendo and Fujifilm were able to make this happen. I, I love it and I, and I appreciate it. And it's it's really a joy to hold your chin chow in hand and take a peek at Machop and Machamp and say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang this up, but it's so much. I wish there was a way to make this happen cheaper. Now, if you already have an Instax mini link, dude, what are you waiting for? Download the app, connect your Switch and have a blast. But unless you're an absolute Poke Pro or a photography nut, or somebody that just lives, breathes Nintendo Switch. It's expensive. It's fun, but it's a lot of money. So there you have it, my friends. Hope you enjoyed our field trip on this fine freaking Friday. The last Good Morning Mario of the week and the last Good Morning Mario of April. Even the photos know we're sliding into a whole new month. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for supporting me, the channel, the show. I love you guys a lot. I hope you're all having a wonderful time. If you picked up new Pokemon Snap, I hope you're loving it as much as I am. If you didn't and you're unsure, well, I got a lot of content coming. You can check out the videos. Of course, we'll be playing Animal Crossing and a whole lot more. E3 right around the corner. A lot of big stuff. And I can't wait to see you back Monday for Good Morning Mario. Until that time, thanks again. Hit that like button if you had fun with me today. Let me know in the comments down below if you would buy an Instax, or am I the only crazy one that really wanted to print out my Pokemon Snap photos? Let me know in the comments. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive, everybody. Until next time, love you lots. Switch Force, out.